Great migration is still alive and well, y'all. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about why Florida is still the hottest relocation destination here in 2023, and why almost 319,000 people decided to pack up, jump ship, and move to the Sunshine State in 2022. From our warm weather, gorgeous beaches, and laid back lifestyle, it's no wonder so many people are flocking to the Sunshine State. But what are the real reasons people are still moving to Florida in droves? From the thriving job market to our vibrant culture, we'll cover everything you need to know before making the move. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it right now. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living Group. And we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in the Tampa Bay area. We also make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. And in today, we're gonna to talk all things Florida. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't have to go chasing those videos down. They'll be delivered right to your home screen. So recently I was digging around, doing my research, and I came across an article that said, 25% of all home buyers are searching outside of their metro area. Now, I don't know about you, but that seems like a pretty large number. And over the last few years, we had this great migration where people were able to work remotely and they were moving all over the country. Some of them were moving closer to home. Others were moving to areas where they had dreamt of their entire life because they were able to work freely wherever they wanted. And what has happened over the last two years is that trend had started to slow down a little bit. And, you know, for a lot of obvious reasons, you know, interest rates have gone sky high. Um, you know, there are, are employers who are asking people to come back to work, but Florida seems to really be bucking this trend. And I want to share with you this article today and really get into these reasons because I think they're super important to note. You know, I've shared this story with y'all before. And if you're new to the channel, I'll share it with you for the first time here. But I moved my family from Detroit, Michigan in December of 2018 to Tampa, Florida. And I'm going to share with you today those reasons why we moved. I did a whole bunch of research trying to find what we thought would be the best area for me and my family. And for almost nine years, we believed we were going to move to an area called Stewart, Florida, in Jensen Beach, Port St. Lucie area, which is on the East Coast, on the ocean side. And we ended up doing a whole bunch of homework and we discovered Tampa and we fell in love with it. Now, today is not about Tampa specifically. It's about Florida and why people are choosing to move here and why you might want to move here. But I want to share with you, just give you a little bit of insight. This is coming from someone who's actually made that move, that relocation. And I got to tell you, there was definitely some apprehension. We were scared of certain things. And today I want to share with you why ultimately we decided to put those fears aside and make that move and share with you those reasons. I also am going to throw in four bonus reasons because I think they might really matter to you and they could. So I just want to make sure that we get all that on the table and let's get into that list and start talking about it. So in this article from Redfin, they're talking about the number of people who are considering making a move from one area to another. And they found that the top five states that people are looking to move to are none other than Florida being number one, Texas number two, Arizona number three, Tennessee number four, and South Carolina being number five. Now, South Carolina, I think, is up 25% year over year in the real estate values because so many people are moving there. And we are continuing to see that trend here in Florida as well. And the top five states that people are looking to relocate from were California, New York, District of Columbia, Massachusetts, and Illinois. And where I live here in Tampa, we're taking a lot of phone calls from areas like Washington, D.C., Boston, Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, and Denver, Colorado, just to name a few. And it's almost like these people who live on the West Coast in states like California, Arizona, Nevada, and Washington State are relocating to the Northeast, and then the Northeast people are moving to Florida. Now, this has been going on for generations, so this isn't anything abnormal, but what is it that's driving people to move to Florida? Why are we still the hottest state in the country, and why are people still continuing to move here even with these crazy high interest rates. All right, so the first one on this list is weather. And I know, bear with me, because you hear this on every single video that you've watched, and I know you're not just watching mine. You're watching all the channels out there. But here's what I'd like you to know. Everybody starts with it because it is so important. So many people have moved across country or from different states to Florida because of the weather. We have year-round gorgeous weather. Does it get stifling hot in the summer? 100%. Now, does that change depending on where you're on the state? It can, 
But the thing you need to be aware of is if you are someone who has been in an inclement environment, you know, places that get cold, gray, and dreary for a majority of the year, and I'm talking five, six, seven months at a time because those exist. I lived in Detroit. Trust me, we were those people too. You know, people are willing to come and deal with the, the hot weather in the summer, the muggy weather. I'll take three months of sweating, having a shower every day of the week, as long as I can see the sunshine, anytime right? And the reason I, I, we decided to make this move is because we wanted a better quality of life. Well, that starts with seeing the sun. It changes your mood, y'all. It is very rare for us to not see the sun for two or three days at a time. And as a matter of fact, it changes our mood. And that was so normal when we were from. So this is normal to a lot of people who choose to call Florida their home and relocate here because they're used to having gray, dreary months or really cold winters and they're just over it. And this is why they choose to make that move. And people ask me all the time, like Juan, what's the biggest difference between where you live you know, in the Midwest and when you live in Florida. And yes, there are a lot of reasons, but the number one thing that I always say is you do not have to shovel sunshine. Number two on this list is the beaches. And y'all, they are absolutely gorgeous. Florida has over 1,300 miles of coastline. You know, remember, it's a peninsula in the ocean. The state is in the ocean. And you know, here where I live in the Tampa Bay area, we're a peninsula on the peninsula in the ocean, which is fascinating. And with 1,300 miles of coastline, there are so many different types of beaches you can come here. If you come to the Gulf Coast, you got these beautiful white sandy beaches. We call them sugar sand. If you go to the East Coast, I mean, you can go to uh, South Beach in Miami. They also have white sugar sand. But you can really get a good diverse mix of, of not only uh, types of beaches, but marine life that comes along with that too. You know, on the Gulf Coast, our beaches tend to be warmer. The water is much shallower. We have different type of marine life. If you're into sport fishing or you really like paddle boarding, or kayaking or boating, the, the West Coast is great. It's a really, really nice area, but you know, you can't surf here unless there's like a hurricane or something coming through. So keep that in mind. If you want something that's a, a little bit more active, then you're gonna wanna go on the ocean side of Florida. You might, you know, visit areas like Miami or um, Boca Raton or West Palm Beach. You know, there's so many different areas, Jacksonville, Daytona, that, you know, we could talk about Florida for days, but it is a very diverse, um, not only, um, you know, you know, uh, culturally, but is very diverse from the marine life and the types of living you can have here too. So our beaches are world-class, y'all. They are regularly ranked. Where we live here in the Tampa Bay area, St. Pete Beach has been recognized as the number one beach in America. Clearwater has also been recognized as the number one beach in America. We've got Madeira Beach that regularly hits that list. Just to the south of us, less than an hour, you've got Anna Maria Island, and you've got Siesta Key Beach, which has also been recognized as one of the best beaches in America. So our beaches are absolutely absolutely world-class. Number three, and this is one of the reasons we absolutely made the decision to come here, is the low taxes. And Florida does not have a state income tax. You also don't have to pay state tax here. Um, there's a lot of benefits when it comes to living in Florida. Don't take my word for it see your CPA, do all the diligence you need to do. But I'm telling you right now, when we moved from Michigan to Florida, we saved about four and a quarter percent on our personal income tax just by choosing to make that choice. For some of you, that won't be a lot of savings. For others of you, if you live in states where the personal income tax gets as high as 10, 12, 13%, that is a significant amount of money. And that is one of the main reasons why people choose to call Florida home or buy a primary residence here in the area it is definitely worth taking a look at because that's a lot of money for a lot of people. So, so if you're into keeping more of what you earned, I would definitely encourage you to check out what Florida has to offer. Number four on our list today is the job opportunities. And Florida is still chugging along. You know, right now in the United States, we're having some headwinds that, that are very challenging in terms of economy. People are being laid off all over the country, you know, especially in Silicon Valley, but we continue to move forward and add jobs here in the state of Florida. Yes, part of that is migration, but a lot of it is demand, right? We've got so many people moving here and also a lot of tech job opportunities are coming here. Financial companies are, are packing up and moving the Northeast and heading to areas like Miami and tech jobs are heading here to areas like Tampa. Tampa is the unofficial tech hub um, of Florida. Uh, it's a very young city. I always like to remind people that, you know, people think of Florida, they think retirees immediately. Well, Tampa as an example is 36 years of age. That's the median resident age. That's incredible when you think about that. And Tampa also 
provides 25% of all the tech jobs in the state. And Tampa is scheduled to add another 3,700 jobs by 2027, all in the tech field. Tampa's cranking down, job opportunities are abundant. Make sure you take a look at that before you make a move. And number five is one that is near and dear to me and my family. It is the outdoor activities. Y'all, when we lived in Michigan, we were literally locked indoors for basically four months out of the year you know from november to through february it was just rough now march can really stink still heck we even get snow in may it's just out of control um, and what it does is it you end up living indoors all the time because it's freezing outside you know there's not a whole lot to do we weren't into ice fishing that's not our thing you know we did skiing every once in a while we take the kids sledding but there's only so much of that can you can really do you know it's gray it was dreary you know and it may not be like that where you're at but the thing that you want to be aware of is there is so much to do outdoors here obviously we have you know the the ocean we have the gulf of mexico we've got you know lakes um and uh you know inlets and all kinds of things you could do there but i mean the water sports alone here in florida between kayaking paddle boarding um you know kite surfing is another one that is is really popular in our area you know there's sport fishing you know you can ride a bike just about everywhere at just about any time of the year i mean again there's times when it gets pretty hot but you know you can still ride in the morning that's incredible you can run all the time we see so many people out in our neighborhood walking it is so much different than it was where we lived okay and it may not be that way for you but that's a reason we moved here and i wanted to share these things with you because maybe you live in an area where you are tired of being cold or it's gray or you're not you don't get to get outdoors as much as you should florida gives you so much to do i mean the amount of parks we have there is just an incredible amount of activities outdoor that you can plug into at any time number six on this list is affordable housing now i know things have changed okay and they have changed everywhere they've probably changed where you live right now they are or they are changing where you live right now but we made the jump here because the cost of living overall was just less the housing was far more affordable when we moved here and honestly i would still consider it that way nationally now i've shared with you before i'm a licensed real estate agent i study these things all the time okay now here's what i know Tampa was under the radar for a very long time where we live here. There are other areas in Florida that were under the radar too that have all been discovered, right? Miami is still cranking down. People are moving to Miami in droves, so much so that Miami is starting to move here to Tampa. <laughs> but you know, over the last three to four years, we've seen a tremendous migration to areas like Jacksonville, um, you know, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Boca Raton, obviously Orlando has exploded. Cape Coral, Naples, here in Tampa, and then in the Panhandle as well. You know, and there's good reason. When you look at the cost of housing overall, it is far less expensive in a lot of areas here in Florida. Can you spend more money? 100%, just like where you're from too. There are areas that are gonna be extremely expensive to purchase homes, but there are also gonna be areas that are extremely affordable. Now, affordability is relative. And what I mean by that is obviously what you make, that limits the what you can afford, right? And I'll just give you an example. Here in Tampa Bay area where we live, the median home price is 392,000 for a single family home. That's a three bedroom, two bath, right around 1,750 square feet. I don't know what that gets you where you live, but I know from the areas that are moving here, these these top areas that are relocating, the numbers are astronomical. I'm gonna read some of them to you right now, right? So if someone moving from New York City, and again, this is where these calls are coming from, the median home price there is $700,000 versus the 392 here in Tampa. Washington, D.C. is $925,000. Boston, Massachusetts, $665,000. Los Angeles, California is just over $1 million versus the $392,000 we see here in the greater Tampa Bay area. And this is what is continuing to drive this relocation. You know, for people who live here in Florida, they've seen their taxes increase, they've seen their insurance increase, and they just can't understand how these prices keep going up. But when you recognize that people, you know, in California who may have 50% of their home paid off can sell that home for a million dollars and then move to areas like Tampa or Jacksonville or Orlando and pay cash 
with the proceeds, meaning the money that they, they netted from that sale, this is why this migration is still continuing to happen. So, you know, when you look at Florida as a whole, you know, not only do we have great weather, great quality of life, but we have really affordable housing when you look at it nationally, especially some of these bigger metro areas. So that's why you're continuing to see the move here. And again, affordability is relative, but Florida's still pretty affordable, y'all. So number seven on this list is retirement destination. And I know that's nothing new to you. People have been retiring to Florida for generations, literally, okay? But here's what you do need to know. It is not just retirees. With this migration that has happened over the last three or four years, the, the state of Florida is starting to get younger, especially in specific areas. I mentioned earlier that the city of Tampa is 36 years of age. That's super young. I remember when we were doing our research and I didn't know much about the west coast of Florida because again, we thought we were gonna live on the east coast of Florida. I didn't know much. And when I started to do my homework and I recognized that Tampa was such a young area and as a matter of fact, it was getting younger. That was something that was really attractive to me. They were bringing in more jobs, younger people wanted to move to Tampa and they were moving here in droves. So when I looked at that, I was like, man, this is a place where we think we wanna be. You know, we had uh, real estate appreciation, which has continued during that time period. And all those things factor in together as, hey, this is probably a good place to go invest into our business and hopefully it grows along with it. So, you know, when you hear that term retirement destination, while well, yes it is. And the reason being is because there's still a lot of very affordable areas for retirees here in the state of Florida. Okay. You can look all over the state and still find condos in the hundred to a $200,000 range, which makes that a very affordable retirement community. And, you know, when you look at the average uh, cost of a home here in the United States now, which is a, right around $383,000 at the time of this recording, if you can pick up a condo and get a great quality of life for somewhere between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars and $200,000, it's worth taking a look. And that's why they're continuing to do that. There is also places in, in uh, the state of Florida that have been recognized as the best. And I'll give you an example. Here in the Tampa Bay area, there's a town called Dunedin, Florida. It's right on the Gulf Coast. Uh, beautiful area, little marina town. I would consider it like village style living. And it was just recognized from Zillow as the best place in the United States to retire. That's a pretty big deal. And oh, by the way, you know, I'm 46 years of age and me and my wife go to Dunedin all the time and go on date nights. And we don't feel like we're in God's waiting room. Okay, so it's a great community to go check out. You know, there's great dining. Uh, the streets are walkable. It's a great area just to go hang out. There's kids playing. There's parks all over the place. I think it's a very cool area to go hang out. It's definitely worth taking a look. So if you're considering retiring to Florida, lots of things to love about it. Make sure you check into your area. Number eight on this list is diversity. Now, I don't know what you think about Florida, but my guess is it's probably not exactly accurate. Florida is actually really diverse. I mean, if you look down to Miami, you've got little Havana down there. I live in Tampa. We've got Cuban and Spanish influence here. You know, uh, there are all kinds of cultures from all over the world that choose to call Florida their home. We have a lot of international home buyers who come and obviously they lend to the culture mixing pot. And I love it, y'all. Being from Metro Detroit originally, we were always surrounded by a different culture because of the big three. The, the, the automotive industry brought a lot of jobs to Detroit and it also brought with that a lot of diversity. You know, we'd have engineers from all over the world that would come live in the Metro Detroit area and that had influence on everything. And we have found some of those similarities here in Florida. Now, not every area is gonna be super diverse. Make sure you check out the area you're considering moving to. And if you have any questions about those areas, don't hesitate to reach out. Me and my family would be more than happy to connect you with other agents across the entire state. We have a really rich network of referral partners here because I don't sell real estate in Orlando or Miami or Jacksonville or the Panhandle, but we have so many people just like you who reach out to us who just aren't quite sure where we're gonna end up moving. And we really love to partner you with people who can help you really identify and the, the correct community for the lifestyle you're trying to live because that's the most important thing. When you're considering making that jump, you've got to have a partner. So don't hesitate to reach out, even though you might not be moving here to Tampa or the Sarasota area. Just know when it comes to that relocation, we've got your back. Number nine is the quality of the healthcare system here. Florida actually has a really rich healthcare system and the cost of healthcare in Florida is less. Now, I've heard from my clients who are relocating that the job Jobs may not pay as well here as they do other areas. And I'm sure that's you know not uncommon for a lot of different things. Florida's 
cheaper for a lot of different reasons. But um, the one thing I know is for people who live here, they enjoy the fact that they're not paying as much for their health care as they were in other states. Now, again, compare this to where you live. I'm not making a blind statement and saying that we're way cheaper than every place. That's not what I'm saying here. So make sure you check that out. But we do have a really good network of uh, medical facilities. And I, I can't speak to all the ones uh, across the state, but I do know in Jacksonville, when we were search, searching there, they're really strong in their medical. They have a John Hopkins up there. Here in Tampa Bay area, we've got Bay Care, we've got the Moffitt Cancer Center. There's all kinds of specialties. We also have a John, John Hopkins, um, which is so hard for me to say sometimes. We have a, one of the best VAs in the country here in St. Petersburg. So there is a lot of opportunity if that medical is important to you because I do know that there are so many people who need you know uh, consistent medical care you know and Tampa has a great opportunity for that but the state of Florida is really really deep when it comes to health care number 10 on this list and the fourth bonus that I'm gonna give you today is proximity to attractions there is a lot going on here in the state of Florida we've already talked about the outdoor activities but the attractions that are in this state obviously we've got Disney World Universal Studios. Um, we've got Bush Gardens here in Tampa, the Clearwater Aquarium, you know, Tampa Zoo. There's so many things depending on where you move to Florida. I mean, it, you haven't even talked about Key West or, you know, the Dry Tortugas. There's so many different, just beautiful things to plug into and attractions here in the state of Florida. With all of this rich history, with all of the attractions, with all of the amenities, with the, all of the quality of life here in Florida, it's easy to see why so many people decide to call Florida their home. And at the end of the day, when it comes to living here in Florida, it's all about the lifestyle and quality of life for you. So I hope what we shared today was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put those in the chat below. Do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. Again, all of my contact information is in the description, including a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that's best to you. If you're considering making a move to Florida, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. I'm gonna leave two more videos here that I think will help you uh, make a decision about whether Florida is the right state for you. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.